This just might be the worst YouTube apology on the platform. My main grievance was her insistence to create new rumors and slander about myself, one topic, and others. I made a mistake. I'm plain and simple. I was wrong. All right, everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Bad Haircuts. Uh, in this video, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a treat. So we're outside today. Ooh, posh. But today we are going to be talking about Creepshow Art 2.0. I'm sure if you haven't seen my last video, a lot of stuff went down. But if not, don't worry. I'm going to give a quick little recap. So all you guys are in the loop. See, I really care about you. So Illuminati slash Creepshow Art. This whole drama started with the pettiness of paranoia. There was this lawyer called Eagle Weagle, whatever his name is. But Illuminati was getting paranoid that Legal Eagle was copying her editing style and you want to know what the editing style was the paper rip effect <laughs> Fool. you know that effect has been run for years and not to mention also there was the highlight effect which you know every channel on earth does that by now to which then we later found out that she was actually copying someone else's documentary word for word by the script i mean how stupid can you be to accuse someone of copying your content but then you literally rip someone else's script off but you're very smart and you God. And that's when a channel known by The Click came out and he released a big thread on Twitter completely destroying an ass-fucking Illuminati. <laughs> Basically, there used to be this group that they were all a part of called Sad Milk and Illuminati and The Click was a part of that. But um, it turns out that um, they all left Illuminati because she was being very paranoid and angry towards everyone. But you see, at the time, Illuminati didn't try and display it like that. She tried to make it seem like The Click was kicked out of the group because of some bad jokes he made in 2012. Tell you what, Illuminati, right? You're the bad joke. Not to mention Illuminati going into a viewer's DMs and saying, oh, this person made a hate video on me and they used your art. The fan art you made me in their thumbnail. Better go and copyright them. <laughs> God, you remember back in the day when people would use their audience to push positivity and now they just weaponize them. But don't worry everyone because in this video it's going to get a whole lot worse. In fact, there's going to be a whole lot more ass fuckery going on. So don't forget to watch to the end, subscribe, leave a like and also comment down below what you thought of the video that's about to happen. You get it. I do just want to say thank you for all the support in the last video by the way and someone left me a super thanks which thank you sir. You're my new best friend. I didn't expect to see so many people support my channel and people are actually unsubscribing from the Illuminati and subscribing to me, so maybe you can be the next one. So where we left off was Illuminati released uh, a video apologizing. Yeah. And you know, the apology video started off just like any other apology video. <sighs> Guys, I feel quite vulnerable making this video. I feel really sad and I'm really s <laughs> Obviously she doesn't appear on camera, but if she did, I imagine it would go something like that. But this is what she had to say at the start of the apology. The compared images that were brought to me and I said, wow, that does look pretty similar. And I impulsively posted about it on Twitter. Truthfully, I should have looked into this more instead of just putting the information out there the second I had a gut reaction about it. Wow, so she impulsively posted about the legal eagle because she thought he was stealing her editing style. Yeah, paranoia to the max. And you know, it's Blair, she has such a unique channel. Well, I'm here to tell you that the only thing unique about your channel is that it's uniquely shit. Oh, sorry, I did forget one thing. You, you've got that little character with, with the triangle head. Well, here's my character. It's a butterfly with miniguns attached to it and it's coming to fuck you up. <laughs> I have apologized privately to Legal Eagle the day after this incident occurred, though I have not been publicizing that until right now. Now, according to her apology video, she apparently apologized to him privately. So let me get this straight. Because you have such massive balls, you called him out publicly, but then they shrunk. So you apologize privately. You see, calling someone out publicly is gonna fill their ego. It's like, yes, I'm calling you out in front of all my fans. I'm better than you. Take this, Eagle Weagle. But for some reason, sometimes apologizing is shown as a sign of weakness. So she did it privately and didn't let anybody know. Yeah. It reminds me of school, you know, when you'd be standing on your own like a pathetic worm and you've got all the bullies over there shouting and picking on you and bullying you. And when you've got one of them by themselves, they don't say anything to you. It's silence. It's not based on a personal experience, by the way. And Illuminati is exactly that. She's a pathetic worm. <laughs> and finally, I'm the one that's doing the bullying. I want to address the topic of plagiarism. 
And that word has been tossed around a ton, and it's not something to be taken lightly. And I just want to take a minute to define this word. On screen are definitions for the word plagiarism as defined by Merriam-Webster, Dictionary.com, and the University of Oxford. She brought up four definitions of plagiarism. Like, what are you trying to say, that I'm fucking stupid or something? It's like, okay guys, you're accusing me of plagiarism. I understand that. Here's a definition of it. In 1989, he was caught up in a bizarre lawsuit with the Food and Drug Administration, which told him he had to stop injecting his autistic patients with blood products. Well done, you... <laughs> that was really good defense on your part. How could you insult your audience like that? Assuming they don't even know the definition of it? Not showing one, two, nor three, but four definitions. Like, we're that retarded. Uh-oh. And... And that brings me on to my next point, the, the arsler. Click said the arsler 12 to 14 years ago. His old videos, as he puts it, aged like milk. They did. Unfortunately, when those videos surfaced, it wasn't really all that shocking to me as Oz Media and I had actually talked about how Click had been using the Arsler while we played games together. But she starts addressing the Click and a joke that he made 12 to 14 years ago. It was the Arsler. Retard. Who gives a crap? And apparently that word is edgy. Is it? I would have said edgy is like a cancer joke or something. Not the word retard. She then goes on to talk about the Clicks channel and how it was terminated in 2019. Her and a few friends went to YouTube directly to try and get his channel reinstated. However, she didn't do that. No, 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 no. She took a pitchfork and impaled the Clicks through the neck. No, she... <laughs> I keep doing that, but I like it. <laughs> I do think it's relevant to bring up that in 2019, the Clicks channel was terminated by YouTube for sexual content. At the time, a few YouTubers, including myself and Oz Media, band together to help reinstate Clicks channel. This is something that I now look back on with so much regret. Had I known at the time what was going on behind the scenes, I never would have participated in helping Click with his channel. No, they successfully got the Clicks channel reinstated, but she regrets doing it if she had known what was going on behind the scenes back then. Listen here now, right? What she's going to be trying to insist is that the click's a pedophile. <laughs> this is meant to be a YouTube apology. <laughs> come on, son. Come off here, will you? You're not doing yourself any favors. Guys, I, I know what I've done is, is really bad, and I just want to apologize. But I just want to let you know that this guy's a pedophile. <laughs> so what is it, Illuminati? You got cancelled? Now you're trying to cancel everyone else. You know, I, I think I've seen people like you before. Usually you find them in circuses, walking around children and juggling some balls. <laughs> around the time of Sad Milk being created. Due to the clicks in action, our shared moderators had brought a situation in his server to my attention. A situation involving pedophilia. So apparently around the time of the Sad Milk collaboration era, uh, there was a Discord server that they all had, and apparently in the Clicks Discord server, one of the moderators noticed that there was a freak in there. Yeah, I, I think that freak was Illuminati. In Clicks Discord, there was a 19-year-old bragging about a 12-year-old that he was claiming to be involved with. A moderator reached out to get more information on this situation. This 19-year-old then reiterates, and I am directly quoting this here, I talked with my therapist about it, even too, and he told me as long as I don't touch her, it's okay. Click and his team did not pursue any immediate action to ban, restrict, or report this individual. Yeah, there was this 19-year-old and talking to a 12-year-old or something, and it was just really messed up. Like, I want to be quiet because I don't want the neighbors to think something. <laughs> now, Illuminati couldn't believe this. She couldn't believe how could the click let someone like that into their Discord? How could he do that? He's an animal. He must be a pedophile as well. That's what she's actually trying to insist, everybody. Then I went to contact Click to see what was going on. And it was mainly because I didn't want to believe that he would blow off someone clearly discussing such an inappropriate relationship. So Illuminati went to the Click directly. It was beyond her understanding how the Click could have let this happen. However, everyone, after Blair released her crappy video, which honestly was a waste of time, it should never have been released. It should have just been a 20 second video saying, hi guys, I'm sorry, I quit. That should be it. But that's when everybody, the click responded. She got absolutely destroyed by him. But before we review it, I just want to say, good luck, Shannon. Uh, I mean, creep show art. Uh, I mean, Illuminati. Sorry. The situation brought up mentions a pedo joining my Discord. 
It is said that neither I nor my team took action against this predatory person and actively chose to do nothing to resolve the situation. Click did not address it or wasn't fast enough, etc. Now the first detail that was conveniently left out of the accusations is that I was asleep. In my time zone, this occurred around 2 a.m. and within the span of me sleeping, this random creep in question had already gotten banned. He was banned at 2.14 a.m. My time zone. Wow, everybody. Just wow. Of course Illuminati made him seem bad. He was sleeping, it was 3am. What's he supposed to do? Sit on Discord all night? <sighs> Hunting freaks. She brought one topic into a chat room, as she shown in her video and her accusations. However, her statement in these DMs about click knowing is very odd, as I would have been very unconscious when the ban was happening. She might be referring to me knowing by the time I woke up, but the fact remains I wasn't there, nor did I endorse this random creep. And also, apparently, uh, Blair said that he was aware of it, but as you can see, the click just said he, he wasn't aware because he was sleeping. I can't believe it, Click. How could you? How could you go to sleep and let someone like that into your Discord? Why weren't you sleeping with one eye open? Congratulations on that, Blair. That was a very weak point made by you, again. And apparently, when Click woke up, the 19-year-old was already banned. So what's the problem? What are you actually complaining about? What are you whinging about now? What you just realize now is how bad Blair's video actually was. I mean, it was trash. I mean, that's something that I would shit in the morning. <laughs> okay. Bit weird, but alright. <laughs> oh, oh, but you thought that was it? No, 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 no. It's Blair, everyone. There's always more. In Blair's video, she claimed she was messaging Click, trying to get him to respond to make him aware of the situation. But the hilarious thing is she never showed evidence of that. And she wouldn't have done. Because it's not true. <laughs> Freak. In fact, it couldn't be so far from the truth that Blair never even tried to DM the click and let him know. He was the first one. He DM'd her first. And three, a receipt of Illuminati reaching out to me to get me to respond wasn't shown in her video or allegations. And the reason for this is that it doesn't exist. The person who reached out to resolve this was actually myself. And here are the DMs where I did so. Probably worth going to you too, as this thing seems to be blowing up. What have you seen of the recent events on the server? If we got time, I think a quick VC would be good, because this is going on the warpath, it seems. Warpath referring to the teams arguing and fighting, not actually the ban itself. As I said, that had been issued 16 hours before this conversation took place. Wow, the ship is indeed sinking. And by that, I mean Illuminati's channel, along with all her lies and crap that she comes with. <laughs> I will let you guys know when all actions have been carried out. I am proud of you. It sounds from this chat, starting from the time I was caught up on the night's events to the time after our voice call, that it worked out quite well. Oh, what was that, Blair? You're proud? But I thought that you were really upset by the fact that he let someone in the Discord server like that, so I'm really confused. Perhaps, Blair, it's only when it suits you, really, isn't it? The fact that you said privately to him that you were proud of him in that moment completely undoes everything you said in your video. So, well done again. <laughs> You've proven to be useless. <laughs> the click then proceeds to say some hypocrisy. Uh, Blair... <laughs> I can't, I can't. Blair says she would never be friends with someone who says the arsler, except she was friends with the click. And apparently, according to her, he used to say it all the time. So why were you friends with him then? If you said you would never be friends with someone who says the arsler, I'm just, I'm just really confused about all this. <laughs> but this next part is truly amazing. Um, I honestly feel like she is the reincarnation of Creepshow Art. This part really deserves a place in the Hall of Fame. I mean, this is... It's <laughs> too good. Here's a former staff member of hers getting paid to sift through raw audio recordings of me looking for dirt. More specifically, the R word. I needed to work with this person to help me find Click saying the R slur in Sadmilk's raw audio. I can do that, just let me grab the shower and I'll be down. She claims he said it in a Sadmilk video, but can't remember which one. And she's over her head. I'll pay you $200 to find it, and here's the payment. She's paying $200 for them to go into raw footage and find a clip of the Click saying the R word. She's so desperate to ruin the click because she's already ruined her own channel. I mean, there's it's just an example. I'm sure there's more. Which I don't have a problem with the word R, but she does for some reason. Even though she uses it in private. You bastard, you are and you are. Look at you again, look. So you're trying to cancel your old friend for saying the R word, but you say it privately. How, is, how, how does R work? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's... Illuminati completely getting destroyed by hypocrisy. If you pretend to be someone else on the internet, slowly but surely, 
the real you will start to seep through the cracks and people will finally see you for who you are. I'm looking at you, Illuminati. You have been naughty. Do you remember like Lolco? Do you remember like how Creepshow Art used to go on there and like pretend to be someone else and, you know, talk shit about people? Well, Illuminati done the exact same thing. <laughs> This is the truth about Sad Milk. It really looks like Creative Differences is dumb AF. Blair tweeting about being stabbed in the back, one topic leaving his supporter server, and then so on and so forth. And I was a big fan of the click. I thought his streams were great, blah, blah, blah. But then I think Blair saw some of his streams. He did a stream where he watched some of his old videos. Wow, so the article that the click just showed, um, Blair actually sent a draft of that in the Discord messages, and the words are exactly the same. They're lining up. So, wow. I mean, I'm just disappointed. Shannon Blair. Blair Shannon. Seems kind of similar. <laughs> You're a YouTuber with a million subscribers and you have time to do this? Like, really? How pathetic and petty do you have to be? Seriously. And it's not just that, there's more. She wrote an entire Bible slating all of her friends and, and, and all of her co-workers. I mean, come on. <laughs> you, you're having me on. Oh, and also, she also had an anonymous Twitter account where she would slate her friends on Imagine that. having your little YouTube group, you know, where you all film videos together, you all have some fun and everything, you all communicate on a daily basis, but you've got that one friend who's really jealous, who doesn't show it, but instead releases her jealousy through an alt account on Twitter by talking shit about you. Guys, please go and support my friend Click. He's the best YouTuber. He's the worst. I want him to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like that. Literally, you've just seen a live action of what actually happened. There is the same account, Doobishmerts, on Twitter. This was an account I remember distinctly from 2020, 2021, that was relentlessly harassing myself, my friends, my colleagues, my streaming colleagues, past colleagues, ex Sad Milk members, community members, stat, you name it. You name it. At the time, I wrote it off as a disgruntled troll with a little bit too much time on their hands and tried my best to ignore it. This was Blair all along. Harass me for months. But I do, guys, just want to let you know, um... Boobs. <laughs> so yeah, that, that just happened. A wasp. <laughs> a wasp came after me. I fucking bolted. And subscribe if you're new, because I want to make some new friends. Comment down below. I'll reply to every single comment, because you won't get that on any other channel. It's only mine. But everyone, I do have one final statement that I would like to say directly to Illuminati. Yeah, I said tell me what you mad for, uh, you mad bro, uh